Okay, so now here we go. Again, just putting this right on into the hole that was the pre-drilled hole that was already there. It's making it so much easier just for it to go in in advance, y'all. I'm trying to tell you so. I am doing the top one first, and then I'm going down and doing the bottom. So there's two on each one of these hinges. So I did just one screw in a top hinge, and now I am doing the top screw in the bottom hinge. And that stabilizes it, y'all, okay? So then... I can go ahead and do everything else I need to do along with it. All right. So now I'm just putting in the bottom one. And like I had told you guys before, this particular um, cabinet door has always been a bit off. I don't know if it has anything to do with the, um, the cabinets themselves or what. But it's like the drawers always kind of poke out on it. So here we go. And just putting this in and she is on this baby okay so the only other thing that I'm gonna do at this point in time is I'm gonna put these little stoppers on it because then they act like little bumpers but I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the bumpers on this particular cabinet okay so that way you guys can see and then this keeps uh, you know inside your cabinets from getting all marked up so one there, and I'm gonna put this other one at the bottom, because this has got a drawer in it, so I don't really have to worry about it bumping up against there. So then, when you close it, it's quiet. You ain't gotta worry about it. Okay, so let's talk about some other things that I've encountered while doing this kitchen renovation, shall we? Let's walk on over here, so that way we can talk about if you happen to get any paint on your countertops honey you get this alcohol this rubbing alcohol and then it's easy for you to be able to get up paint so I left a little mark right here for you guys to be able to see and all I'm gonna do is take this rubbing alcohol okay put some on it this is my rag as you can see I was using it previously and then just work it in a circular motion a little bit of pressure and do y'all see that that's already coming up? Yeah. So you're able to use it and it is all done. Okay? So that's how you can be able to get paint off of your countertop. Now, let's talk about there's a particular area where you notice there was a little bit of paint that was still hanging on. Well, this is where the Q-tip trick comes in at. You just get a simple Q-tip. Sometimes it's just a small area. Okay, so you're just going to take your Q-tip and dip it in your paint. I'm going to make sure my bracelets don't fall in, okay? Dip it in the paint, and then my trusty camera woman is going to follow me around this way. So then that way, you guys can see. See, there's a little bit of a little dip it right there, okay? So all I'm going to do is just take my Q-tip with a little bit of paint on it, and honey, she gone. She don't, you don't even see her. So when she dries, she dries. Now, you can go ahead and feather out, you know, the bottom portion so that way it's not so much of an eyesore when it dries. But, yeah. So, boom. And there you have it. So, you guys ready now for this full kitchen reveal? Okay. But stand by right now.